welcome back to BHM University. My name is Marcus with Broadway Home Medical, and today we're going to be talking about the Drive Nitro Glide Knee Walker. Now with the Glide, it does have a product weight of 23 pounds. It does have a weight capacity of 350 pounds. It comes in this red, and it also does come in a blue. We're going to go ahead and go over some of the key features for this. I'll have you come on in right here. We'll go ahead and look at the hand brakes. So what you're going to want to do to engage those is just squeeze. To go ahead and lock it out, you're going to want to just push down this little lever here. It'll lock out. To go ahead and release that, you're just going to want to have a simple squeeze just like that. We're going to go ahead and go to the basket now. The basket is attached by these hooks, so you just lift up just like this. We'll go ahead and put this over here for now just so you can see how we adjust the handles. Now with the handles, you're going to want to just unloosen just like this. Get it to the desired height. Go just like that. Make sure that it's in there. Turn it to the right. Just like that, and we should be good from there. Now we're gonna go ahead and go down to this lever. This is gonna be for our storage and for transportation purposes. We're gonna go ahead and wanna release it just like this. Bring it down this way. Now you can see right here that there's a little bit of a pin. You're gonna wanna retract that back so it can go down. Go ahead and bring it down this way. Folds up, just so you can see, lifts up from there. And then go ahead and put that back into place. We're gonna wanna go ahead bring it back up. As you can see, it's sticking out right there. We're gonna to wanna to bring that back just like that and make sure that's locked out. Now, the width of the axle is able to be adjusted. Right now, it is at the 20 inches. It does also go down to 18 and 16. All you do from there is you're gonna to wanna to adjust it by doing to the left of that and then you're gonna to wanna to swing it back just to get it locked out. Now, from here, we're gonna go ahead and go to the seat now, this is adjustable for whichever knee that you were needing it to be for. What you're going to want to do is just release right here, pull this out. We want to unlatch that, get it to the desired height that's needed, and then put it back in. Just go right back into the hole from there. Just like that. And want to lock that out. Now let's go ahead and go to the brake mechanism. Go ahead and show that. Now that has been the Nitro Glide. Let's go ahead and take it for a spin. All right, let's go ahead and roll on out. Here we have a slight decline. Couldn't really notice on that. Definitely felt stable still. We're gonna go over some of these little cracks and bumps that we have. With the tires, it definitely feels like you can get over these pretty easily. Go ahead and go with the turn radius on this. Definitely can see on that. We'll go ahead and test out these brakes as well. You're not going to want to go too fast, but we'll get a little speed to it. And you're going to want to just slightly go with that. Definitely does stop on a dime, so good thing for that. The pad definitely does feel comfortable. It does help out quite a bit. And that's how you roll it. That was my first impressions. And this was the Nitro Glide. Thank you. Thank you for watching BHM University. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe. Until next time, have a good day.